नमस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिश्रुतिपुराणालयं करुणालय नमायु भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरा सूत्रभाष्य वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वर गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणमूर्त नम सहनावत सहनौ घनक्त सह वीर करवाहे तेजस्वी तमस्तमा विषा वह ये ओं शातुर्ब्रह्म संप्रोक्त जीव आख्यातमुच्यते प्रकृति सुबंताधातुब्रह्मात्मन नम नारायण परोव्यक्ता दंडमव्यक्त संभव मंडस्यांत मेलोका सप्तद्वीपा चीज so we were at verse number 10 so we finish the ninth verse which is shrotram chakshu sparshanam cha rasanam ghranam eva cha adishthaya manashchayam vishayan upasevate kani punah tani was answered what are these indriyas earlier these indriyas had come up so uh, yeah so manashashtani indriyani so indriyas who have manaha as the sixth to make up the count of six what are those indriyas those were listed here very easy and then shrotram chakshu sparshanam cha rasanam ghranam eva cha adishthaya and then sixth is manaha cha ayam vishyan upasevate so ayam अयम विषयान उपसेवते हाउ अधिष्ठा टेकिंग दीज एज श्रोत्र आई मीन श्रोत्र चक्षु ऑल दीज इंद्रियास अधिष्ठा इज देहस्थ देहस्थ सन अधिष्ठा मीन्स बिकमिंग यू नो एक्चुअली इट इज विथ आइडेंटिफिकेशन विथ द बॉडी ayam identifying with the body with tadatmya sambandha and then adishthaya having indriya sambandha also pratyekam indriyena sah then vishayan upasevate who wants to take the next verse i can take yeah can i take yes please विमूानुपश्यक्षुष <laughs> So the padacheda is utkramantam sthitam va api bunjanam va gunanvitam udaha na anupashyanti pashyanti jnana chakshushah jnana chakshushah yeah <coughs> so the kriya padam is actually two are there anupashyanti and pashyanti both are three three third uh, yeah <coughs> bahuvachana Pashanti also same. Then Yana Chakshu Saha is uh, one one. So that's my question. Okay, we can start whichever way. Yana Chakshu Saha Pashanti. So Yana Chakshu Saha is that's my question. That's my question. That's my question. That's my question. Sorry. That's my question. That is that's my vibhuti question. The mood aha again is that's my vibhuti question. The mood aha. ना ऑफ कोर्स इस अव्यय गुणान वितम गुणान वितम इस द्वितीय एक वचन वा अगेन दिस अव्यय बुंजानम इस टू वन उत्क्रमंतम स्थितम बुंजानम दिस कैन बी वा आल्सो वही अपी ओके या वा अपी आल्सो इस वा वा एंड अपी ऑफ कोर्स 
ಯಾರು see in the sense they don't cognize it is not as an object but they are unable to understand this subtle atma utkramantam sthitam vapi bhunjanam vapi gunanvitam so we mudaha who are these who do not see nanu pashyanti we muda who are avivekina ityartha those who do not have viveka but jnana chakshu sah those who have jnana chakshu zabauri jnanam eva chakshu yesham te ते ज्ञानचक्षुषः न अनुपश्यन्ती विल नॉट कंटिन्यू दे बिकॉज पश्यन्ती हैज बीन रिपीटेड हियर अनुपश्यन्ती ओनली विमूढा न अनुपश्यन्ती बट ज्ञानचक्षुषः पश्यन्ती हां व्हाट अगेन से देहगतम उत्क्रांतम स्थितम वापि भुञ्जानं वा गुणान्वितम वन हु इज कनेक्टेड विद द गुणास why even while being connected with the guna is not connected really and utkramantam sitam whether present or you know moving around jumping around whatever bhunjanam having undergoing bhoga that kind of dehagatam dehad dehagatam it's a atmanam really na anupashyanti so if you want to make that uh, ಪರಿತ್ಯಜಂತ <coughs> <coughs> one which was attained earlier that kind of a body parityajantam giving up that body sthitam vaapi meaning present in deha dehe tishtantam means sthitam bunjanam va shabdaadincha upalavamanam so all these dharmas shabda sparsha roopa rasa gandha these are the bhogas when one does vishaya bhoga one is doing guna bhoga really so this bhunjanam va is shabdaadi shabdaadin cha upalabhamanam gunanvitam what is gunanvitam sukha dukha sukha dukha mohadyaihi gunaihi gunaza sukha dukha moha ityadi taihi gunaihi anvitam anvitam meaning anugatam so one who has an anvaya you know connects with all of these so anugatam and anvitam is not clear bhagwan bashikara sanyuktam samyak yuktam ityartha connected with these gunas mithya but then connection is also mithya gunas are mithya sambandha is mithya evam bhutam api even see in each and every activity there is some guna which is uh, some dharma some dharma which is being uh, you know being experienced so if sub, when you interact there will always be some indriya which is dealing with some vishaya therefore in any activity there has to be some kind of a bhoga ongoing or it is you know this utkramantam when shifting from one body to another also 
the same entity is there atma is present there while shifting from one body means transmigrating then during bhoga also that same atma is there connected with gunas also the same atma is there how can one miss it because one has an anvaya through and through with each kriya as well as each bhoga and whenever there is some connection with sukha dukha moha adi then also i am already there so that entity who is ever present in any karya any bhoga and in any sukha dukha moha guna connection that kind of ever present entity is missed and we have seen this example when we look at a room we start counting objects but we miss the light which we are actually seeing the light that we cognize really is missed but we start counting objects which are not really seen we see the light that's what science tells us but then if we are asked to count the objects in the room we count the objects missing the real object which we are experiencing which happens to be light similarly the subject is really missed when you start counting everyone if you when you start objectifying anything and everything the subject somehow is missed that is this the issue with vimudas which is uh, which is a general case for all of us till we are trained to see trained to understand cognize evam bhutam api that's why evam bhutam api even that subject who objectifies everyone is ever present in all karyas all bhogas and all guna connections that kind of evam bhutam api enam atyanta darshana gochara praptam evam bhutam is explained further what kind of whatever has been said here utkramantam sthitam vaapi bhunjanam whether it is present just you know uh, i think puja uh, swami used to say the simply stating atma uh, atma which has no connection with anything but ever there <clears throat> transmigrating having bhoga connected with guna so something or the other of these is going on all the time and that is evam bhutam explain further by atyanta darshana gochara prap that kind of atma <clears throat> which has attained the status of being accessible all the time being accessible gochara praptam not indriya gochara but still gochara when indriya prayoga is undergoing then also gochara so atyanta darshana gochara praptam enam evam bhutam that is evam bhutam and still miss therefore vimuda vimuda ha na anupashyanti so what kind of vimuda you know v is taken as vividha vividha prakarana muda the v there is vividha prakarana prakaravachi vividha muda how vividha vividha prakarana that is explained here as drishta v is explained here drishta drishta vishaya bhoga bala krishta chetastaya muda ha so prakara vachi is explained by taya in which manner drishta drishta vishaya bhoga bala krishta chetastaya there is chetasta what is chetasta the mind has some quality what is that quality it is akrishta balen akrishta it is overpowered by the strength of something mind finds itself as weak so what is it you know forced by akrishta what is the mind forced by it is it gives into the pressure created by bhogas so bhoga bale balehi or balena <coughs> balehi is better to understand or we can say bala also just the strength of what of various bhogas so we can say bhogana 
balena akrushtaha not akrushta cheta would be uh, napunsakalinga so bhoganam balena akrushtam yat chetaha and then chetastaya tasya bhavaha totalo that will be applied and chetastaya having the quality the mind has status of being influenced or completely overpowered by the strength of experiencing experiencing what experiences of what so there also shakti vishayanam bhoga bhogaha so vishaya bhoga what are these vishayas these vishayas are drishta and adrishta so something which has been experienced earlier or heard about indirectly through shastras or through some friends and you know advertisements we have heard about some vishayas that we are interested in whether in shruti advertised in shruti as you know swarga you should go to this kind of a place to enjoy more that is the advertisement in the shruti then advertisements laukika anyway we know about so those are adrishta drishta are anyway we have experienced whatever and we hanker for them again and again so drishta drishta vishaya bhoga balakrishta chetastaya anekada moodaha that is we vividhataya moodaha deluded due to that kind of mind being there na anupashyanti therefore they don't see this evam bhutam atmanam api enam which is ever present which is their own real swarupa aho kashtam vartate iti anukroshati cha bhagavan and then bhagavan you know he is he says it's a pity it's a it's a pitiable case that most of the people miss the very swarupa yetu puna punah pramana janita jnana chakshushah so bhagwan bhashya kar raha hai added to as well ye to puna to contrast however those who are endowed with viveka that viveka is mentioned as jnana jnana chakshushah those who are jnana chakshu how are they jnana chakshu pramana janita jnana not some you know kapola kalpita jnana that is not jnana there are many people who have jnana which is just logically it seems right to them but that is not useful without shastra as basis therefore pramana janita pramana is shabda pramana which is veda vedanta pramana therefore pramana janita jnana chakshu shnyan pramana janita jnana meva chakshu yesham te pramana janita jnana chakshu chakshu shah te enam pashyanti they see this see as a, not as an object but as their own swarupa they cognize jnana chakshusha vivek vivikta drishtayah ityartha so those who have vivikta drishti those who have atmanatma viveka and nitya nitya viveka all this, this is the beginning step for a sadhaka really which graduates into moksha in the final viveka further kechittu on the other hand some what about them who wants to take this we will try yes amma yatanto yogina chainam pashyantyatmanya vrittitam yatanto pyakritam pritatmano nainam pashyantya chetasa chetasa okay yatanto yogina chainam pashyantyatmano anyavasthitam so what happens is that uh, it's it's uh, it's a little tricky with the sandhis so can go slow yatanto yogina chainam pashyantyatmanya vasthitam yatanto pyakrutatmano nainam pashyantya chetasah or you can break here yatanto api so not here yatanto pyakrutatmanah so you can break the sandhi there and pause that can also help at times okay anyway okay. yatantaha yatantaha okay pada cheda yatantaha yoginaha cha yenam 
अवस्थित नो पश्य आत्मने अवस्थित अकृतात्मनो आत्मनः न येनम् पश्यन्ति आत्मनः पश्यन्ति अचेतसः अचेतसः There is, uh, there are two, this is Kriya Pada, Pashyanti, no, there is only one, Pashyanti and Pashyanti two times. Yeah. Okay, then, Yatantaha, I have done Pratama Vibhakti Bahu Vachana, Yoginaha Pratama Vibhakti Bahu Vachana, Cha... Do you know what is this uh, Pratiparikam for this? For which one? For Yatantaha. So when you say, you know, I have to ask this question because, you, you know, it uh, looks like a guesswork with uh, Pashyanti, which is okay. Yeah, I think it is Yata, yata Anta. What Yata Anta? I mean, yeah. what is it? Pratipadikam. Yata or Anta. It is Bahu Vachana. So, yeah. Bahu Vachana, what will be the Pratipadikam if you have to get Yatantaha as in Bahu Vachana? What should be the Pratipadikam? So if you are doing guesswork from Pashyanti, you should do an intelligent guesswork. You should land on the Pratipadikam. In any Pada, especially okay. when you tell me that uh, this is what I have done, uh -huh. shows lack of confidence. That shows guesswork. And if it is a okay. guesswork, then I need to ask you what is the Pratipadikam. Every time you do decline, uh, you do Padacheda, when you understand the Vibhakti and Vachana, you have to know the Pratipadikam. Even if you don't know the gender, it is okay. Gender is a little complicated uh, in uh, Sanskritam, which is all right. Uh, in fact, Bhagwan Parni Maharshi says that gender cannot be taught till he has written Linganushasanam. But in the Sutra, he says that it cannot be taught. It has to be learned in the language. So that is a difficult part, which most of us find gender is a difficult part in Sanskritam. But we should land on the Pratipadikam nonetheless. Mm -hmm. So ending, we should know how it declines. And if you land on the Pratipadikam, then alone you'll understand the meaning of this word. Because you have to understand through the dhatu, then whether it is a Kritanta or a Taddita or a Samasa. Anyway, so if anyone knows, welcome to mention. Otherwise, we'll see further. Okay, moving on. Okay. Uh... Um, the Yenam, um, Dvitiya, Yogina, Yogina, uh, Yogina, also Pratama Vibhakti Bahu Vachana, hmm. Yogina, Cha, uh, Mavyaya, the Yenam, uh, Dvitiya Vibhakti Eka Vachana, Pashwanti, uh, Pratama Purusha Bahu Vachana, <coughs> then Atman. Atmani, Atmani, Saptami, Ekavachana. Yeah. Then Avastitam, um, Ditya Vibhakti, Ekavachana. Hmm. Again, Yatantaha, uh, Pratama Vibhakti, Bahu Vachana. Api, Avyaya. Then Akritatmani, no. Akritatmanaha, Akritatman, Atmanaha. Vitiya Vibhakti Bahu Vachana. Vitiya Vibhakti Bahu Vachana. How does Atma decline? Atma Atmano, Atmanaha, Atmanam Atmano, Atmanaha, Sudana Puntakasya, Tarvanamasthanam. Atmanaha. Yeah. 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 Na again Avyaya and uh, Enam Dvitiya e, Dvitiya Vibhakti Eka Vachana Pashyanti Pratama Purusha Bahu Vachana then Achetas Achetas I think it is again Pratama I am not sure of this Pratama Vibhakti Land on the Pratipadikam Land on the Pratipadikam 
You already see what is this word that we saw here? What what kind of word is Jnana Chakshush? Jnana Chakshushaha. Why is this Prathama Eka uh, Bahuvachana here? Same word here. What is the difficulty there? See, if this is a word which I have already explained, this should be very clear. The compound may be different, but Achetasash is same as what is the difference between Jnana Chakshusha and Achetasha? How can you do guesswork when you already done Jnana Chakshusha? What is the Pratipati king here? The Shatvam. If you remove the Murdhanya, hmm. what is it actually? Chakshu. What, what, what does the word Chakshu end with? Chakshu. What is the Pratipati coming? Chakshu. Chakshu Shabda. Chakshus. Chakshus. Chakshus, right? So the, what is this Chetas Shabda? Okay. What is the difficulty understanding Chetas Shabda? We have seen this also. It has come up uh, earlier as well. Here we have just saw this. I explained this. Drishta Drishta Vishayabhoga Balakrishta Chetaha. I explained this. So Chetas Shabda. And I said that Chetas is, is neuter. Cheto Yasya. So uh, Chetaha, we have seen yeah. this word. So when we see the Bhashya, all this is, we, we learn Vyakrana also with that. We get the words also. And the same words are there coming up further. So it's not that this verse is over. Then you should drop out this Jnana Chakshu and all that. It is Jnana Chakshu. Shaha is Jnana Chakshus is the Pratipadikam. Here Chetas. Achetas. Nanj Sat Purusha. So, or not Sat Chat Purusha. Uh, bahuri. Nanj Bahuri. Achetas. Here yatan, Yatantaha. Where will you get it? If you know Maruch Shabda, you will know it has to be what Yatat. Yes, if you know Marut Shabda, at least you know there Marut Marut Marutau Marutaha. So you should land on Marut. Marut as a Pratipadikam. Here also it will be it will be different, not like Marut, of course. It is Shatranta Padam. So Yatat is the yatat. Pratipadikam. So it yatat. Yatat is the Pratipadikam. Then in masculine it will become uh, Yatan, Yatantau, Yatantaha. Yatantam, Yatantau, Yatataha. So we should know that, especially with Sudana Punsa Kasi, it should be clear uh, how it declines. Shatranta Pada. So th that's why Prayatnam Kuruvantaha, those who are making Prayatna. So Kuruvanta is also what kind of a Pratipatikam? It is Kuruvat. Kuruvan, 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 Kuruvanta, Kuruvantaha. So Bhagavan Bhashyakara is saying Yat. Yat is Yatna. It is Yatanta is those who are making yatna and yatna may be difficult to understand even so he adds pra prayatnam kurvanta then yoga asya asti uh, yesham santi iti uh, you can say yoga yesham uh, asti iti yoginaha okay. so those who are yogis and those who are making prayatna so here yatanta can also mean yati also yatis those who are making effort towards what? Towards jnana. Enam pashyanti. Atmani avasthitam pashyanti. So, Atmani, we'll see what Atmani means here. Because Atmanam pashyanti, that, that should be the understanding from the earlier verse. Now, this Atmani Atmanam pashyanti should be understood, we'll see in the, uh, in the Bhashya. Our Atmani Avasthitam Pashyanti Yatantha Api Akrtatmanaha Na Enam Pashyanti. So Yatanta Yoginaha Cha. Those who are making efforts, they see this entity sitting in oneself. We can currently use loosely say that this is a reflexive pronoun. So uh, reflex, reflexive word, not pronoun, reflexive. It is a Atmani. They see in oneself. They see one's own self in oneself. Where else will it, it be? It will be in one's own body, mind, sense complex. They see this Atma. Avasthitam, which was said earlier as Sthitam. Sthitam Vapi. But then Yathanta Api Sam. So Kechittu. That is why Kechittu. Kechit, kechit Yathanta Ha Yoginaha Cha Pashyanti. Kechittu yatanta api na, na pashyanti. So some who are making efforts, they are going to get to the goal. So they get to the goal. But some others who are making efforts, they do not get to the goal. Why? 
because there is yogi on one side these yatanta yogis yogis because they have undergone the samskaras undergone all the ashtanga ashtanga so there is initial training which is there which in uh, in vedanta we call as uh, you know sadhana chatushta sampatti but there is an overlap in yoga also there is an overlap we have uh, the in the ashtanga no, it does not start with asana unfortunately people get stuck with asana neither go before that nor after so they continue with yoga asana and call it yoga it is not yoga yoga is samadhi but to lead to samadhi you need bahiranga sadhana all this bahiranga sadhana for that you need preparatory measures also for asana and pranayama which happen to be yama and niyama so five yamas and five niyamas make up the person as a yogi those kind of kechit yatantaha they tenam pashyanti however yatanta api those who are making prayatna but those who skip you know take shortcut methods do not have viveka vairagya adi samadhi shatka sampatti is there sammukshutvam is there but that is not real mumukshutvam they don't reach why because even if they make efforts the efforts are lacking in fundamentals therefore they akrutatmana akrutatmana means we'll see further in the bhashya akrutatmana they they have not made themselves prepared so preparatory measures are lacking that is the meaning of akrutatma there the atma there is again reflection they have not prepared themselves the atma there is reflection in sense it is antakarana akrutam uh, akrutah atma yeshante and atma is what antakaranam akrutah atma antakaranam yeshante akrutatmanah those who do not have a well made atma meaning well made antakarana and how is that well made antakarana chitta shuddhi chitta shuddhi is lacking therefore that is explained here by achetasah so yatantah yoginah on one side pashyanti enam kutra pashyanti atmani eva avasthitam pashyanti whereas on the other hand yatantah api akrutatmanah santah they are not yogis definitely because yogis have a refined mind akrutatmanah ar achetasah te do not see enam na pashyanti atmani na pashyanti okay so anyway i covered the anvaya there itself yatantah prayatnam kurvanta we saw this also those who are making efforts yoginascha yogis are who those who are samahittam chitta chittam yeshante so chitta this is also bahuri samahitam chittam yeshante samahita chittaha those who have a composed mind those are yogis enam enam what is that enam is atmanam enam atmanam pashyanti what is that atma is prakrutam atmanam the same atma which has been discussed in the context of the entire gita so prakrutam is in the context that is what is enam ayam aham asmi iti upalabhante and what is this pashyanti not seeing as in literally aham ayam asmi i am this atma which is revealed by the shruti through mahavakya iti upalabhante where atmani where in oneself swasyam buddhau in oneself means in one's own buddhi they understand because it is the upalabdhi sthana buddha avasthitam that is why uh, angushta matra purusha said as angushta matra purusha because matra is the size of angushta but the purusha atma is not a, the size of the thumb but is in the buddhi understood in the buddhi which is the role of antakarana which is said to be in the uh, the space of the heart which covers the area of a thumb which is enclosed in a fist so that is why angushta matra purusha okay so 
यतंतोपि यतंतोपि शास्त्रादि प्रमाण ही यतंत दे आर मेकिंग एफर्ट्स एंड दे आर डूइंग श्रवण मन निध्यासन बट नॉट वर्किंग वाय बिकॉज अकृतात्मा मीनि असंस्कृत आत्मा अकृत इज असंस्कृत सो भगवान भाष्यकर एड सम सम देर एज यू नो एज एन उपसर्ग टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज इज कृत संस्कृत असंस्कृत आत्मा हाउ शुड वन हेव संस्कार आत्मसंस्कार मीन अंतकरण संस्कार थ्रू तपस इत्यादि बट दीज डू नॉट हेव दैट देर फोर तपस इंद्रिय जयन च असंस्कृत आत्मा सो इट इज सेंग दैट दे हेव नॉट रिफाइंड देम सेल्स बाय आर दी मीन्स विच आर तपस एंड इंद्रिय जय इंद्रिय जय क्षमा दमा विनिंग ओवर युअर इंद्रिया दुश्चरिता दुश्चरिता दुश्चारा अधर्म कार्य अनुपरता सो देर बाय वॉट विल वॉट हैपन अशांत दर्पा दर्प इज नॉट शांत ऑल दू नो ईगो एंड ईगो लेड इश्यूज आर ऑल देर You know, I am self-made man, as uh, Puja Swami used to say, self-made man. So claims everything, you know, all the rights, but no duties are followed, no dharma is followed. Therefore, this yatanto api prayantnam kurvanto api na evam pashyanti achetasa aviveki na ha. Those who are aviveki, they do not see because of shamadamadi. lacking yeah, i'll read this because it's a long uh, sentence uh, long sangati yat padam sarvasya avabhasakam api agnyadi uh, agni adityadikam jyotihi na avabhasayate so that pada that goal which has been mentioned earlier in this chapter that which abode which is called as a goal sarvasya avabhasakam api that which reveals everything else but itself is not lit up or revealed by agni aditya ityadi jyoti of them jyoti of agni aditya ityadi yat praptascha mumukshavah and having attained which goal yat padam praptaha cha mumukshava those mumukshus who have attained that goal punaha samsara abhimukha na nivartante they do not come back facing this samsara yasya cha padasya upadi bhedam anuvidiyamanah jeevah and those jeevas who are not really many they are created due to upadi upadi bheda anuvidhiyamana des the jeevas are none other than brahma they become multiple in keeping with the upadi following the upadi bheda yasya cha padasya upadi bhedam anuvidhiyamana jeevah ghatakashadayah iva aakashasya amshah they are amshas jeevas are amsha of brahma which is said to be the pada they are padasya amshah but what kind of amsha the amsha the way ghatakasha is the amsha of mahakasha so not really an amsha upadi krita amsha not really an amsha of narayana amsha ityadi the way it is described in purana not literally an amsha amsha because of the upadi creates a division just like even in reflections you see many reflections they are all amshas but not really amshas they are upadi krita tasya padasya sarvatmatvam sarva vyavaharaspadatvanch vyokshuh chatur vishlokaihi vibhuti sankshepam ah bhagavan so bhagavan ah kim bhutva what kind of being what kind of a bhagavan taking some role that role is vivakshuh so bhagwan who has vivaksha he has vaktum ichhu 
भगवान इज इज डिजायर ऑफ टीचिंग समथिंग वॉट इज इट दैट दैट इज तस्य पद से सर्वात्मत्व ही वॉन्ट्स टू से दैट दैट ब्रह्म पद इज इज इन दॉर्म ऑफ एवरी बींग सर्वात्मत्व तस्य पद से विवक्ष सो ही वॉन्ट्स टू रिवील दैट ब्रह्म तत्व विच इज कॉल्ड एज पद हियर इज आत्मा ऑफ एवरी वन एंड दैट विच मेक्स ऑल व्यवहार पॉसिबल सर्व व्यवहार आस्पदत्व विवक्ष एंड देर बाय आह वॉट आह भगवान वॉट डिड ही स्टार्ट नरेटिंग नाउ विभूति संक्षेपम ही वॉन्ट्स टू टॉक अबाउट द विभूति संक्षेप हिज ओन विभूति how it manifests in all beings how through four verses chaturvi shlokaihi so the next four shlokas are the vibhuti sankshepa of bhagwan summed up here to show that that brahma tatva which is ishvara tatva which is called as pada is in the form of all beings and it is the aspada of all vyavaharas who wants to take the next verse i can take yeah yada aditya gatam tejo jagat basayate khilam yat chandramasi yat chagna tat tejo vidhi mamakam yat aditya gatam tejah jagat basayate khilam अखिलम यद्रमसी यद्न तेज विदि मामक सो भाषयते फर्स्ट वर्ब सो तेज भाषयते सो दट विल बी प्रथम पुरुष एक वचन प्रथम पुरुष एक वचन आदित्य गतम इज आलो प्रथम पुरुष एक वचन अखिल जगत विल बी द्वितीय एक वचन यदित्य गतम तेज जगत भाष्य प्रथम एक वचन प्रथम विभक्त सो आदित्य गतम प्रथम विभक्ति एक वचन एंड तेज ऑल्सो जगत विल बी द्वितीय एक वचन जगत भाष अखिल विल बी ऑल्सो अखिल जगत आई वॉज थिंकिंग सो आई थॉट इट बी गोइंग दिस इज नाउ नेक्स्ट सेम सप्तमी एक वचन चंद्रमसी चंद्र चंद्रमसी सप्तमी एक वचन इफ यू रिमेम्बर अगेन प्रथम एक वचन चव्यय एंड अग्न विल बी सप्तमी एक वचन विल बी तेज सो दिसरी मध्यम पुरुष एक वचन मध्यम पुरुष एक वचन सो दूज कर्ता देर मध्यम पुरुष हुई मध्यम पुरुष 
Uh, from, uh, from yeah, the, from, so you, so uh, who is talking here? Bhagwan is talking. Who is he telling? Arjun. Arjun. Arjun so is. Can Arjuna be that now? No. So this will be uh, Dvitiya Ekvachana. Yeah, so. Deja also will be Dvitiya Ekvachana. Mamakam. Mamakam will also be Dvitiya Ekvachana. Yeah, so, so as simple as that. So that. Mamakam Tejaha Vidhi. So know that from Vidhi. So you should know that as my Teja. What is that? All this. Yat Aditya Gatam Tejaha. Yat Aditya Gatam Tejaha. Yat Jagat Abhasayate. Akhilam Jagat Abhasayate. Then Yat Chandramasi. Yat Chagnav. Tat mamakam tejaha vidhi. So it's a, not that difficult. Yet. Aditya gatam tejaha. Jagat bhasayate. Tejaha jagat bhasayate. So that mama kam teja vidhi and you can add all this there earlier itself. So chandramasi yet you can say bhavati. Yet chandramasi bhavati or yet agnaucha bhavati. Tad. So here you can add bhavati. Bhavati Agno Bhavati Ad Mamakam Teja Vidhi. So it is my Teja. Mamakam is my Teja. So you, if you remember the first verse of Gita, you have Mamaka. So it is Taddita to say Mama Samandi. That's what it's Mamaka. Mamaka means related to me. So Dhritarashtra says Mamakascha Pandavascha. So those who are mine and Pandavas. Pandavas are not mine. That's the idea there. So here Mahamakam is related to me. What is that related to me? It is my, my Teja. That's what it is. Yet Aditya Gatam. Meaning Aditya Ashrayam. Aditya Ashraya Yasya Tam. So there Aditya Ashrayam is mentioned. So here it can be you know, because it is neuter. Kim Tat, what is that? Tejaha. That is Tejaha, meaning Deepti, Luster, Prakasha, Light, Jagat. Bhasayate. Bhasayate is a causative. Therefore, Prakashayati. It is a Nijanta. That which causes the world to light up. That Prakasha which reveals the world. And what is that? Akhilam. Akhilam. So Akhilam can also hear. Akhilam Jagat. So that which uh, Akhilam is Samastam, the entire world, which lights up the entire world. Yet Chandramasi, Chandramasi, Shasha Bhriti. So the another word for Chandrama, we already know Shasha. Shasha Bhriti, you know, in, in the moon, uh, uh, Purana Katha, you know, if you look at it, then you see kind of uh, some shadows there. They are like the the rabbit's ears, you know, so it looks like a rabbit there. That's what it is said. So, therefore, Chandrama is also called as Shashabhrit. Shashabhriti Tejaha Avhasakam Vartate. So, Vartate or Bhavati, whatever you can add that. Whatever is there in luster or light which exists in the moon also. What we call as moonlight. Yacha Agno Hutavahe. Hutavahe, what kind of a Samasa animal? In Hutavah. Hutavahe. So Hutavahe. Hutavaha. In Hutavaha. Does it strike anything? So it's an Upapada Tatpurusha. Hutam Vahatiti. 
hutam is ahutam ahutam vahati one who carries the ahuti who carries the ahuta agni so agni carries the oblations therefore agni is called as hutavah tat tejah vidhi vidhi is vijanihi may you know what is that as mamakam it is mind madhiyam another word to explain so mama vishnu ho my who who is me vishnu so my jyoti hi tat jyoti athava otherwise another way to look at it is aditya gatam tejah चैतन्यात्मकम ज्योति ही यत चंद्रमसी यत चग्नव वर्तते तत तेजह विद्धि मामकम मदीयम मम विष्णो हो तत ज्योति ही तो अनदर वे टू सी इट एस दी ज्योति विच इज देर एवरीवेर दैट इज माय ज्योति सो इन अर्लियर इट इज विद दी दिस अवभासकम you know the uh, avabhase with the bhasayate it has been taken and without that also you can include all of this as you can bring aditya gatam teja also on the right side and say that that is my teja further nanu stavareshu jangameshu chat chat samanam chaitanyatmakam jyoti so athava chaitanyatmakam jyoti what has been said there as earlier it is just light you know talked about as light but athava when you talk about teja chaitat chaitanyatmakam jyoti that light literally earlier but in the real sense it is the chaitat chaitanyatmakam jyoti that chaitanya the chaitanya which reveals everything that is the real light and it is there in aditya it is there in chandrama it is there in agni also you may you know that as my light says bhagwan meaning it is my chaitanya prakasha so whatever chaitanya wherever you see sentience all that sentience is mine now the question is stavareshu jangameshu cha tat samanam chaitanyatmakam jyoti that is same you cannot say that it is there in aditya in chandrama in agni that is there in any stavara also jangama also it is there in all the sentient and insentient beings or rather we can say sentient itself will say that it is there in the moving and unmoving and moving means any animal human being etc and non moving is vriksha ityadi not ityadi we can say plants and trees shrubs all of these are stavara in each of these in all of these samanam chaitanyatmakam jyoti the revealing consciousness is not different it is same tatra katham idam visheshanam yat aditya uh, yat aditya gatam ityadi then why such visheshana has to be used sarva gatam can be said why aditya gatam what is so special about surya so if you take it as chaitanya if you take it as light yes there is something special about surya sunlight but if you take it as chaitanya then that athava interpretation is a little confusing for the puro pakshi why do you, if it is chaitanya then bhagwan shouldn't have talked about aditya gata jyoti as something special special it is not aditya gata chaitanya that is special it is the same chaitanya which is there everywhere naisha doshah that's not an issue even if we take that as chaitanya which is the real light sattva adhikyat avistaratvo upatte he because there is superior sattva in surya therefore the consciousness also reflects better that is why hiranya garbha has we can say that has a better chaitanya than us there is chaitanya is not better has a better reflected consciousness the luster of the consciousness if it can be called as luster because it is compared with a reflection so that consciousness which reflects in a clear body just like light reflects better in a clear reflective surface or from a 
clear, clear reflective surface. Similarly, Chaitanya will reflect better in Sattva. So, Sattva Rikyat Avis Tarattu It is tenable for consciousness to be having some Vaishishtya because the reflecting medium has some Vishesha. Aditya Dishuhi Sattvam Atyanta Prakasham Atyanta Bhaswaram. It is the luster is bright. It is brighter because sattva is more. Therefore, ataha tatreva avistaran jyotihi iti tat vishishyate. Therefore, some distinguish, you know, distinguishing factor is there. Therefore, they are distinguished in this manner that aditya gatam jyoti. So, oh, that is also Bhagavan. It is his own chaitanya, chaitanya jyoti. That is the idea to you know give something which is well known. That is the vibhuti. So therefore, Bhagwan Bhashyagara says that is the vibhuti, vibhuti samshepa. Natu tatreva tad adhikam miti. But not to say that consciousness is more, but the reflection is better. That is the idea when you talk about aditya ityadi because of sattva being more. Yathahi loke tulyapi mukasamstane na kashta kudyado mukham avir bhavati adar shado to swachye swachatarecha taratam yena avir bhavati tadvata. So, just like in a laukika example where light is reflected, where you take the light which is comparable to Chaitanya, even Yathahi, not shloke, okay, it is loke. Yathahi loke tulyapi. Even if there is mukha samsthana, which is tulya, the face should be reflecting everywhere because the light reflects everywhere. The uh, if there is a if you look at uh, water or in a mirror which is clean or unclean, in both places there should be a reflection of the face. If it is in the front, there should be a reflection. The reflection may or may not be clear, but it should be there. Now, will it be in a wood? So, kashta kudyado, in wood, in, in stone, whatever, you know. Will it be there? Should be there. If, if you shine the uh, stone, the stone should also reflect. So, granite is also stone, but um, in granite and in marble, you may be able to see your face based on what is the what is the sattva comparable you know uh, cl clarity of the surface the clear surface so thereby mukham avir bhavati mukha samsthane tulya api even if the they are comparable still kashta kudyado mukham na avir bhavati it is not reflected in in wood etc but adarshado in a mirror or some shiny objects to swachye swachya tarecha taratam mena it is no, the reflected the quality of the reflection is more and more superior when we go to clearer mirrors tadvat similarly here also kincha and continuing the vibhuti in the next shloka we will look at in the next part huh? Narayana Paro Vyakta, Andama Vyakta Sambhava, Mandasyanta Srimiloka, Saptad Dvipa, Chamedini. Any questions? Uh, uh, there is one uh, Pata Veda here. Yeah. In the, in the 12th... Uh, 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 this book or Bhashya? Bhashya, Bhashya. Yeah, yeah. It is uh, actually uh, in your book it comes Avishthara Tarattva Opapatehe. Whereas in yeah. Gita Press it shows as Adhikyo Patehe. Both are same? Same. Yeah. Adhikyo. Adhikyo uh, it is here, right? Avis Tarattu Patehe. Yeah. Yeah. Adhikyo Sattva Adhikyo 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 uh, Sattva Adhikyat Adhikyat you will have to borrow from the earlier. You will have to say uh, here, see this Chaitanyatmakam Jyoti. So Jyoti hi, 
will have to say jyoti hi uh, jyoti adikyam so you will have to bring the jyoti here okay. adikyatto upapatte so adikyattvam kasya adikyattvam so you have to say okay. of the jyoti jyoti uh, jyoti shah jyoti shah adikyattvam uh, if you say avistaratto upapatte avistara is um, is the uh, is the reflection so there we don't have an issue when we bring a reflection both parts okay. are all right jyoti is anyway there but with avistara it is clearer okay. because adikyam has gone by already satvadikya okay. avistaratto hote aur satvadikya jyotisha adikyatvam tasya okay. upapatte both are okay uh, not an issue with either part generally in part of either you will see that the words are uh, will carry a similar meaning Okay. Anything else? Then, then one more was uh, in the verse eleven. Uh, the the uh, enum. Uh, why etam is not used? Because there are two options. Uh, two uh, for the enum or etam. We just did this in the uh, refer back to lagu. We did it uh, just before we stopped the classes. Yeah, I know. I remember, but <laughs> why is that? Have, have a look. Have a look. Okay. Is, okay. I will have a look. Something that is called as what should be used with when it is referred to or not referred to. So there are two. Okay, will... So etam enam uh, when it is uh, when it should be. Uh, I forget the technical word there. Uh, no, no, I look at it. I look at it. I remember the word it. there. Use there to explain as to when it should be used. When it sh- so generally you will see this. Uh, they, they are not necessarily optional forms. Um, you said that I remember. Now when you said that they are not it, necessarily it, optional it, forms, it, I remember. Yeah, it's a little complicated uh, in the sense that. Uh, uh, the reference made earlier versus not made earlier so uh, there is there is a technicality there i look at it yeah. thank you <clears throat> anything else anyone else i'll see you next part up namaste 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 namaste